Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer. Your host, Mark Bates, Sam at Euclid Hall, one of the places I work and where I play. We got a really, really fun beer today. I gotta give a shout out to Amanda Johnson from Odell Brewing. She hooked it up. We got Odell's Saboteur, this year's release. Now last year, it was rated top 25 best beers of the entire year by Draft Magazine. It's a 10% American Wild Ale. It actually will pour very similar to an Oud Bruin from Belgium, uh, just because it's a dark brown, robust, high alcohol sour. Cork and Cage, this is my favorite beer that Odell does, and they do a lot of fun stuff. But this is it, out of their single series reserve, this is the best in my personal opinion, and I am stoked to crack it open and share it with you. So just a second, we're going to do just that. We're going to see how it pours, how it smells, especially how it tastes. Stay tuned. All right, so we got Saboteur poured. Pitch black underneath. It's going to have a little bit of brown hues and highlights, but overall, it's a very, very dark beer. A throppy head that is not fading whatsoever. Uh, kind of reminds me of a Belgium Golden. It's just cloud-like and fluffy right on top, and it's not fading. Uh, that's a beautiful thing for me. The bubbles are very, very, very tight, but it looks like it's going to be a great beer. I can smell it from here. All right, so we've got Saboteur Report. Let's go ahead and give it a good swirl. Aggravate that beer. Head comes right back. Let's go ahead and give it a smell. Right away, you get the big Britannomyces right on the nose, which is what this is. It's 100% uh, um, re-fermented in the bottle. It is 100% Britannomyces spiked, if you will, in barrel aged in uh, American oak barrels. So the Brett is that funky, wild, slightly acidic smell that comes on that nose. There's a touch of just like a brown chocolate and a little bit of coffee, but it's minor. All right, let's go ahead and give it a taste. Wonderful. That's what that is. You want to talk about balance when you when, when referring to a beer? This is what this is. Super uber balanced. Let's hop right into it. Um, right away, your entire mouth is slightly coated with what feels to be a minor coffee flavor. It's not a bitter coffee flavor. It's not espresso. It's just very minor and subtle. It's a little bit of, with like rich chocolate behind it. A, and you're getting woodsy oak. I mean, you definitely pick up that oak. That's the rounding factor between the two. It's a balancing nature, and that's all across the palate. Uh, the body itself is it's medium to heavy body. I mean, there is some weight to this beer. Now, because they spiked with this with, this with Bret Bretonomyces instead of using um, you know, lactose bacillus or pediococcus, you're not getting those intense, big, sour flavors. The Brett's all over the nose. There is Brett in the palate. It's subtle. It's this tangy little wild feel, but it's not super, super sour. This thing is unbelievably balanced. It's, it's just fantastic. You breathe in the aroma, and you're getting that tangy, wild flavor and touch of coffee, and then you drink the beer, excuse me, and you get just rich chocolate, subtle though, subtle, with really, really good oak backbone and just touches of coffee. I mean, it's awesome. I'm not getting picking up any fruit presents whatsoever. Uh, I can tell that if you were to age this beer for a while, the Brett factor would really spike and really become apparent and present. So this is just a really good, perfect sipping beer. As for when you should drink it, it's almost a blizzard outside right now. So if I had to choose when I would drink it, it'd be snowfall. Luckily, I live in Colorado and a lot of the beers I like, they're perfect for snow days. That's what this is. Uh, I would love to sit down in a leather chair, nice cigar, really good fire in front of me, and just relax, sipping some Saboteur. It's fantastic. Uh, you really put some age on this, you're going to see the Brett and the sour qualities really come forward. It'll become more wild and funky. Right now, it's a very young beer. And that's why it's so, so balanced. Um, I picked up a couple bottles. I think I got three right now. I'd love to have six. So if Odell, you want to send me more, I won't say no. And uh, I want to age it. I want to see how they, you know, make a vertical out of it, essentially, and, or, or horizontal, and really see what the years do to it. Does it become more funky? Does the coffee flavor and chocolate notes become more present? Does the oak pull back? 
some you're going to see with time. Right now, though, it's fantastic. It's a very subtle sour. So, with that being said, thank you for joining us at Not Your Dad's Beer. I'm Mark Bays. This is Odell Saboteur. We will see you guys next time. Odell Brewing. This is Saboteur, the Brett Barrel Aged Brown. And I got to tell you, this is Not Your Dad's Beer.